Royal Conservatoire of Scotland is a national centre of excellence in Scotland. And using video conferencing for distance learning, we can make this resource available to everyone. The ability to offer video conferencing consultation lessons allows the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland to share its high profile teaching resource with many others living in remote geographical locations and overseas. The use of video conferencing for overseas auditions is also beneficial to both the institution and the prospective student. As well as the audition process being more robust than a submitted DVD, we are able to create a more personal experience through live interview. Potential students from overseas are able to get a real feel of what we are about here at the Conservatoire through video conferencing. Video conferencing invites the world to look into the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland and gain knowledge and experience of the many wonderful things that are happening here on a day-to-day -day basis. Video conferencing teaching is a vital tool for the coaching of our students who will become tomorrow's teachers. Currently, we also host brass teacher Grant Golding, who bases himself here at the Conservatoire in order to teach young music pupils in Dumfries and Galloway, who, like many others, may become future Conservatoire students. For the last 10 years, I've been working as a virtual music teacher for Dumfries and Galloway Council. Using video conferencing technology, I've taught over 300 pupils brass instruments in some of the most remote schools in the far southwest of Scotland. I'm going to share some of my experience of doing this, which can of course be applied to other teaching disciplines, not only brass. If it's not a teaching method that you're used to, it might seem daunting, so here are my top tips to achieve a successful, natural looking and engaging video link. Plain and simple is key. Make sure the room behind you is free from distractions like unwanted posters, light switches and open windows. With clothing, stick to simple colours like blues and greys because bright colours and busy patterns create a hue that's distracting. Be aware of unwanted sounds. The microphones used in video conferencing are very sensitive and can pick up unwanted sounds that you may not be aware of, from jewellery catching desks to conversations and noise outside the room. Even a whisper can be picked up clearly, so remember to use a mute button. Speaking and eye contact. Be aware of the time delay and avoid speaking over the other participants. Look into the camera when you speak. When you look at people on the screen, it may appear that you're looking above the heads or down to the floor. The time delay is similar to a phone call but as musicians, you'll quickly get used to it. With some of the difficult technical problems that pupils encounter, look for visual clues as well as the sound. Listen with your eyes. Keep it simple. If you're using a laptop and different camera angles, try to keep it as simple as possible so that the lesson still flows. Things like asking the pupil to come closer to the camera or turn slightly so you can see a profile shot are much quicker than moving the camera. It may take a few sessions until you feel comfortable teaching using this method, but with a little practice, the technology disappears and it feels just like a face-to-face -face lesson. The video conferencing facility at the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland offers a really exciting opportunity to our part-time learners and teachers. It opens up our 21st century conservatoire to the pre-higher education students and professionals we work with from right across the country, and indeed the world. In the months and years to come, the Short Courses programme will offer audition preparation tutorials, professional development opportunities and student support on our key widening participation projects through video conferencing. We're really excited at the new ideas, people and practice that will grow out of this work.